Hey everybody, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about understanding entities. Uh, this is a continuation from understanding system level entities. Uh, but in this one, we're going to be talking about custom entities. Um, so if you need a quick refresher on entities overall or um, system level entities, please refer to that video. Um, and then come back to this one, and then we're going to get started right now. Uh, so we're back in our Orlando store electronics e-commerce virtual assistant. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to dive right back into our dialogue tasks. We're going to jump into the search product um, conversational flow. Uh, we'll just pull up the name one, uh, just keep it easy. So right here we have uh, the name entity. And it's a person name, but for the sake of this, we're gonna try a couple different things. We're gonna use some custom entities. So the first custom entity is just the one that says custom, right? So essentially what this means is it's going to be a regular expression. Um, so I have a, uh, a regex written down here, and then, so I'm gonna type it in really quick, and then I'll explain what it's doing. Um, you know, feel free to always you know, Google regexes if you're not comfortable with them or if you need to learn more about them. Um, so what I can do is I can include this regex and what this would be doing is, let's say that rather than a name, we're looking for a username or a user ID. And maybe that user ID starts with the letters KO and then there's four digits. So that's what this regular expression is saying. So rather than looking for a name, it's gonna be looking for a regex that fits what we just built out right there. So that's really quickly what a custom entity is. It's gonna be using regular expressions to define what the virtual assistant is actually looking for. The next type of custom entity that we can do is a list of items that's enumerated, right? So if we click over here into the little gear, then you see up here that you can either do a static list where you display everything on your own, or not display, but you you know input everything on your own, or you can use a list, right? Um, for this one, we're just gonna do a static list. Um, <clears throat> I think that, so this one was name. Uh, maybe what we want to do instead of name is Maybe let's just imagine, uh, for the sake of this exercise, that we're talking about um, potential payment methods, right? So it's going to be looking for a payment method, and maybe what we have are credit cards, um, or credit card, sorry, and then we'll just have that credit card, credit card at CC, um, credit um, charge card, some people say that, uh, then we can use a debit card. So we have debit card, uh, maybe we even call it a, a checking card. I don't know if anybody even calls it that, but um, I could see it. And then maybe we have check as an option as well, and maybe PayPal as the, the last one, right? So what we can do is we can have these different, um, these different values and synonyms that the um, that the virtual assistant would look for when it's trying to find this entity of payment method, right? So what we can do is we can define all of that, then we can save it, and we've created this list of custom, um, <clears throat> of custom entities that the virtual assistant can then look for. So that's a list of enumerated items. And now I'm gonna move back and I'm gonna do one final example. And this is a list of items, but it's a lookup. So essentially what that means um, is that we're going to be using an API call to go gather some information. So you can have a static list built out uh, using JSON right here or our editor. Uh, but also what we can do is we can take a remote list. So we have <clears throat> some inputs that we can do, but essentially what you're gonna be doing is if you have an API that you can hit, you're gonna put a get request right in this, uh, right in this little URL, uh, URL field, and then you can click test to see if, if it works correctly and it gathers the information that it's looking for. But essentially with this one, what you can do is you can make an API call to go gather information to see what could potentially be 
the uh, correct entity that you're looking for. Um, so this is, again, just a high-level overview of the three types of different custom entities that you can create using regular expressions, using a list of enumerated items, and also using API calls in order to go gather that entity information. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Hope you have a good one. Bye.